Little people with big dreams. Got a book in the series, right? And tonight, if you have ever read the books or seen any of the movie versions or TV versions of Anne of Green Gables, you're gonna like this one especially because this one by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vergara is Lucy Maud Montgomery, who wrote Anne of Green Gables. It's set on Prince Edward Island and I was there once for an hour. It was a very neat place, but yeah. Let me tell you the story about Little Maud. Little Maud was born on Prince Edward Island in Canada. When she was very small, her mother passed away. Her father left her in the care of her grandparents and then sailed off far away from the little island. Maud felt out of place at her grandparents' house. They were strict and grumpy, and it was almost impossible to get a smile out. But Maud loved to walk around the island, picking berries and naming everything she saw. For her, even apple trees had names like Little Syrup, Gavin, or Spider. I think that's a really cool idea. At home, books became Maud's very best friends, and she dreamed of becoming a writer one day. But her grandparents thought reading and writing was a waste of time, especially for a girl. So Maud started writing her own stories and poems in secret, smuggling candles into her room at night. She thought about the friends she found on her walks and imagined new worlds for them. When Maud was older, she became a teacher. It was not her favorite job, but it gave her time to write stories. And soon, one was published in a magazine. Maud was then offered the chance to work at a newspaper. She was the only woman on the staff and wrote her first article under the pen name Cynthia. She loved every minute of her job. But not even nine months had passed in her new post when her grandfather passed away. Maud had to go back home to take care of her elderly grandmother. But there was no way Maud would give up writing. She accepted a job at the local post office so she could send her work to newspapers without anyone noticing. Before long, 30 of her stories were in the paper. 30. One day, Maud found an old newspaper with an interesting story. The story said, elderly couple apply to orphan asylum for a boy. By mistake, a girl is sent to them. That night, she dreamed of this little girl. And if you know about Anne Green Gables, you know. This little girl who became the star of Maud's next story, Anne of Green Gables. Once it was published, everyone loved the little girl with her freckles and thick red braids. Anne was imaginative and brave, and though she got into scrapes, she was always loved. Through Anne's adventures, Maud rewrote her own childhood as she'd have liked it to be. And telling Anne's story, Maud, the little girl who wasn't allowed to write, became the great author she always dreamed she could be. And that's the story of Lucy Maud Montgomery, who dreamed something that she didn't have for herself and then created a character who did. And I would highly suggest that you check out Anne of Green Gables because some really good stories, good stories. It's a whole series, which you probably know. You might not know yet, but you'll know. So my friends, whether you are a writer or a dreamer or a painter, or you're just not sure what you are yet, that's okay. Because you're who you are and you all have gifts and you do. And you share them every day when you smile and when you're kind to others and when you're just who you are. Give yourself a wonderful kiss on your beautiful brain, a wonderful kiss on your wonderful heart, and look in the mirror, whether you have red hair or blonde hair or gray hair or no hair, just look there and say, hey, good looking, because you're all good looking, just the way you are, over and out.